there, welcome back to my kitchen. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make and freeze your own cauliflower rice. Hi there, I'm Lindsay Dietz from allthenourishingthings.com. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen once again. Today I'm gonna to share one of my favorite meal prep hacks with you, how to make and freeze your own cauliflower rice. If you're not familiar with cauliflower rice, um, get ready to be blown away. You can grate up cauliflower and cook it up in a skillet really quickly and serve it as a keto or low carb replacement for white rice. It can be seasoned in any way that you like. You can make Spanish cauliflower rice, turmeric cauliflower rice, cauliflower rice with Asian flavors. It really is super versatile. And for years, I would buy my cauliflower rice from Trader Joe's or the grocery store. And to buy ready-made cauliflower rice, especially that's organic, is quite expensive. But I found that it is easy and inexpensive to make my own cauliflower rice. So that's what I'm going to teach you how to do today. So all you need to make cauliflower rice is a head of cauliflower, a cutting board, and a knife. A baking tray lined with some parchment paper and you're going to need something to grate your cauliflower rice in. Now I have an As Seen on TV salad shooter. This is one of my favorite kitchen appliances. It's probably 12 or more years old and we use this thing all the time. Um, I don't know what I would do without my salad shooter, to be honest. We've used it for grating cheese, we use it for grating all of our vegetables, we use it for quick shredding of anything and everything, and I actually prefer this over using a food processor. However, if you don't have a salad shooter and you don't want to get one, you can use a food processor fitted with an S blade, or you can use a regular stand-up cheese grater. Your preference, you choose what you like. So, here's how you make cauliflower rice. First, you're just gonna take all of the green stuff off of the cauliflower. Or as much as you can. Next, you're going to cut the cauliflower florets away from the stem. And yes, you'll probably have bits of cauliflower going everywhere. That's okay. That's normal. You're not doing anything wrong. So as you can see, I have some of the thick stem pieces in there. Um, it would just take a really long time to cut all this cauliflower away from the stem and it would waste a lot of the cauliflower. I'm mostly just trying to get it away from this like giant chunky stem that's in the middle. So that's basically what I'm going to toss. You can also compost this or feed it to your chickens if you have those. All right, next, I just need to make sure these chunks are the size that will fit into my salad shooter. So like this is too big. So I can break them apart with my hands or cut them with the knife. And then I'm going to grate it straight onto my baking sheet that's lined with parchment paper. Then I spread it out in an even layer on my parchment lined baking sheet and now I'm going to pop this in my freezer and let it freeze for a couple of hours until it's nice and solid and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, my cauli rice is frozen on my baking sheet and now it's time to decide how you want to store your cauli rice in the freezer. My favorite way to do it is in a quart size zip top freezer bag. My favorite freezer bags are the Up and Up brand from Target. I have tried 
Plaid and Ziploc and every other kind of brand and honestly these are the best zip top bags that I have ever used. So that's what I like. Um, you can either store it by measuring, so maybe you want two cups or three cups of rice, collie rice in each bag, or you can weigh it out. So if you're used to buying the frozen collie rice from Trader Joe's, those come in 12 ounce bags. You can also find 16 ounce bags sometimes at Walmart or other supermarkets. Um, I am going to do the cup method because that works best for me since I know that at each meal that we want to have collie rice, my family typically eats um, three cups of collie rice. So, I'm just going to start scooping my frozen collie rice. This is a one cup measuring cup. And there we go. So that's three cups of collie rice in a one quart freezer bag. And I like to squeeze all the air out of mine and then lay them out flat so that whenever I'm storing them in the freezer, I can either stack them on top of each other and they'll be in thin layers, or I can stack them like this or like, you know, do like a filing cabinet or a bookshelf of collie rice the same way I do my bone broth. If you are at all curious, this is how much three cups of collie rice weighs. It's um, 11, almost 11 and a half ounces. So this is about the same as what would be in a Trader Joe's 12 ounce bag of collie rice. So the last thing to do is make sure you label your bag with the name of what's in it and the date. There we go. Well, I hope you've loved learning how to make and freeze your own cauliflower rice. Be sure to check out the links below this video. I have some recipes and some other meal prep tips for you. Also, please like this video if you enjoyed it and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you never miss a thing. I'll see you next time.